my Aries is out here to do your June 18th through July 1st reading now keep in mind that the messages will not resonate with everyone and the messages are fluid it won't go exactly for the this two-week span it may have already happened it may happen you know apply it to your life as you see fit um, keep in mind I'm on Insta go I'm on Instagram uh, my website is below We'll get into that after the reading. All right, so I've got the cards pulled. The first, the top spread is for love, uh, five card advice spread, and then career and finance, additional supportive messages. The bottom of the deck for love is the star card. Wow. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or some of you just going through some real healing. Some of you are trying to get on that right path. The star says you're on the right path. You got it by the star the star of david you're guided by you know your your spirit angels excuse me, your spirit guides your angels god you're letting divinity help you the divine help you you let so this is really good and then some of you are just um some of you are dealing with an aquarius all right okay so let's go this is you right where you are the two of air this is sun and libra so this is um could be dealing with the libra legal system the justice system or you just need to make a decision you know there's two now this is just up in your head right now you are not actively making the decision you know in your mind through your thoughts that a decision meaning a cut uh, um, you're cutting away from a decision has to be made are you in your right path the magician nice if you're not you're definitely trying to get there and you're definitely manifesting exactly what you want your um it's the one card so you're definitely getting all that you want. You have the tools to manifest this. Spirit is working with you with the star card. You're able to manipulate the energies that surround you. The energy that you have within yourself. To see physical manifestation of whatever it may be. A relation. Then now this is love. So it could be a relationship or anything in regards to a relationship. You're able to manifest that. Okay, your obstacle here is the Ten of Fire. Uh, laying a burden down. This is the obstacle. I think some of you want to continue carrying it. It has become comfortable. you become comfortable there. Um, it's your safe haven. It's what you resort back to instead of heal like the star it's comfortable to be the victim here this is Aries Sagittarius Leo energy you have to lay down whatever it seems burdensome to you a lot of times this is, this is a, a, a mindset this is not healing from the past this is a the carrying of an unnecessary burden lay it down so that healing can take place you keep carrying it what okay what are you gonna do with it what are you gonna do with that person or persons that were involved or surround this this burden are you gonna keep going or are you gonna lay it down once and for all and move forward this is your obstacle you won't lay the burden down you've got comfortable carrying it you got comfortable walking around saying, look at the burden on my back. It may get you sympathy. It may get you in a place of, some of you, it's protection. Yes, someone hurt you. Yes, someone deceived you. Yes, someone was this or they were that. Or they did this or they did that. But when are you going to set fire to the flame? Okay, Adele. Mm -hmm. And just lay this down and be done with it. And just say, you know, no more am I the victim of what happened, of these circumstances, of this person, of this obstacle, of this this thing. 
and it's in love it may be that someone hurt you and they, they want to come back or they have come back um you are not laying down what they did to you i don't know and maybe you shouldn't let's see let's keep going uh in this card <laughs> have a hard time remembering uh, what's helping you the queen of earth could be a capricorn virgo taurus sun moon rising The Queen of Earth is worried and concerned with things of home, nature, mothering. The Queen and the King of Earth make decisions in regards to firstly themselves, but they try to incorporate everyone else's viewpoint, perspective. They try to be as fair as possible. Now, they aren't the King of Swords or the Queen of Swords, but... If it's in regards to home and family, they do incorporate everyone involved before they make a decision. They try to make the best decision for everyone involved. This is who this is who is helping you. How can progress be made? King of Water. Okay, we got two people here. For some of you, it is um the King of Water is one hundred percent, a thousand percent in control of their emotions. They don't let in or let out too easily. Um, they understand that you know waters run deep with them, so they're not going to. get out of character out of balance in regards to anything that can shift or move them emotionally how progress can be made is to and they're open and they're loving they're charming they're romantic you know maybe some of those things are, you need to embody that's how progress will be made here this is the obstacle though the ten of fire you can't get here to the queen of earth or the king of earth, water until you deal with this burden that you're carrying okay career and finance at the bottom of the deck we have your energy the jack of clubs a reliable friend relative um, could be younger a fire sign, sun, moon, rising, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Um, they're about action. They're in and out, you know, but they're reliable here for you. Or well, this is a fast moving person surrounding you in your career and finance. Okay, this is you where you are in career and finance. What? The Ten of Diamond. That's, that's nice. Um, stable career home family creating legacy for yourself longevity um worry you know creating a, a nest egg for yourself you have that you built yourself up to the ten of diamond um looks really good are you on your correct path the nine of hearts nice and that goes that coincides with the magician to now of course we know the nine of hearts or the nine of water is a wish card if you're hoping and you're wishing for something then there's intent behind it and there can also be manifestation in trying to manipulate the energy which would be the magician so it says once again you're you're, you're manifesting your your intent is out there you're the magician uh, if you're not on your correct path you definitely are um on your way there nine of nine of hearts you're getting a wish fulfilled here on your path these two cards want to come out together your your obstacle the five of spade and then once again the ten of club the ten of fire this is the same card in two different decks this is interference outside interference cancellation Somebody keeps in interfering 
in the midst of or you're letting something interfere in the midst of you moving forward being the queen of earth being someone's wife husband being loving open open to love and open to receive you, outside interference could be a, a air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius could be a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo and not only are they interfering in love but it's hindering because in this deck this is good luck and good good money un, unexpected money it but this is cancellation due to outside interference it's like this situation this person um, or persons they're they're stagnating this is the obstacle they're stagnating you from having that loving relationship having that advancement in career unexpected good luck and or money you're concerned about longevity retirement legacy family we keep letting something come in between it it might be the hurt and the pain from the past it could be an actual physical person what's helping you the ace of Club. Okay, so this is your energy. Uh, health, wealth, and happiness. This is motivation. What is helping you is you being motivated. A fire has been lit under you. Something happened. Something ignited the energy to where you say, okay, I'm going to make whatever happen. Health, wealth, and happiness. That's the Ten of Diamonds. You're motivated to make this happen for yourself. I really feel like some truth and clarity came in here. And that's why you're at the two of, of air. Yeah, okay, so how can progress be made? These two cards came out together. Four of spade, nine of diamond. Immediately I heard Stop acting like you're single. Some of you are not single. But your whole life is set up as if you're single. You have somebody else. You have not let them in to a certain aspect, a certain space in your life, in your heart with the king of water. This is career and finance. For some of you, it's Stay in prayer and meditation in regards to maybe a business opportunity that you want to see come to fruition. Stay in prayer and meditation about how this happens for you. And then you can get to the seven of swords and start to revise and devise a plan of action. You're restless in your current job because there is something else you want to do. Something you're really good at. Okay. Career and finance. All right. And at the bottom of the deck for the Butterfly Oracle Cards, be true to you. Yeah, it's something you really want to do. We've got sentimental feelings. Leaving. Mm. Family changes forgiveness yeah it's what I've been saying with this ten of fire it's like you won't lay something down you won't forgive you won't and it, it might involve family something to do with family you you guys won't forgive you know some tr trespass some sin I don't know something that happened with family it, it changed a complete dynamic um some of you need to forgive some people who've passed on and how you do that is you by way of your words and then you release that's a whole nother video anyway the forgiveness needs to happen in in regards to family because you're feeling off 
some of you are leaving mm, leaving nine of diamond talks about being restless in your current position uh your job because you you have a business opportunity that you want to take hold of some of you dealt with some illness here too you need to check on your health um leaving leaving can be anything leaving an old mindset behind leaving a person behind leaving a relationship you don't see many cards for that i think it's more so a mindset sentimental feelings you you feel a certain way about a certain issue you need to talk you need to talk this out sentiment is here it's not as if it stirs you emotionally to the point where you know it then becomes habitual a habitual thought but it's it's definitely the sentiment is there all right so that's for somebody okay so this is for the two weeks june 18th through july 1st i hope family changes could be anything to like for some of you, I really feel like some of you have issues with family members. Forgiveness it starts. You need to either give forgiveness or ask for it. Somebody left or you feel like someone's leaving. Someone left before you could forgive them. Someone left this earth before you could forgive them. And it keeps you in this place, the sentiment. Okay. All right. Request a personal reading. Um, thank you for tuning in once again. If you cannot request a personal reading for whatever reason, do what is much appreciated. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. I am going to, um, for, for the people who comment, um, I'm going to do a drawing. I'm going to, to pick two commenters who just randomly and give them a free five minute reading um, so comment comment below even if it's to say hi all right so thank you guys take care um i'm gonna try to do a quick love spread it's a lie guys it's 12 signs but pray for me all right remember to stay in prayer too i'm praying for you all right bye for now